We control 1294 square km in Kursk region, which covers 100 settlements, 594 Russian armed forces soldiers captured, according to the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sersky. He said that about 30,000 occupiers were transferred to the Kursk direction. The enemy is withdrawing troops from other directions, but is increasing efforts in Pokrovsky. SYRSKY emphasized that one of the objectives of the Kursk operation was to distract Russian forces, including from the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions. One of the objectives of the Kursk operation was precisely to divert significant enemy forces, primarily in the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine noted at a panel discussion within the framework of the Forum Ukraine 2024. Independence he added that the situation in the Pokrovsk direction remains difficult. More than 50 combat clashes take place every day. The Russians actively use their advantage in manpower and military equipment, in particular artillery and aviation. Sersky noted that the main offensive actions are being conducted by new infantry groups. Russia is trying to knock out the section of the road Kostyantinivka Pokrovsk, by which it is trying to disrupt the logistical connection of the Ukrainian defense forces, he says. Sersky adds that the Russians are advancing in this direction at a very high cost. On average, Ukrainian soldiers neutralize 300 invaders every day in this direction, work is actively underway on the daily equipment of our positions and defense lines, the commander-in-chief notes. He adds that despite the difficult situation, Pokrovsk remains under the control of the Ukrainian military. The command of the defense forces is doing everything possible to stabilize the situation in this direction, Sersky assures. The ranks of Russian Z patriots have become completely disillusioned with Russian President Vladimir Putin after the Ukrainian armed forces successfully entered the Kursk region. The well-known Stalinist Sergei Kurginyan has publicly spoken about the weakness of the Putin regime and Russia. He made a frank statement in an interview with a Russian resource. The Z patriot admitted that the Kremlin underestimated the enemy and called the overconfident sentiments about capturing Kiev in three days unacceptable. Kurginyan very harshly criticized the Russian army which slept through the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The army was at the toilet. No one needed it. It was almost an atavism. This shitty situation cannot be corrected by a patriotic cry. Why is everything not like this? Why aren't you in Kiev? Why aren't you in Warsaw? Why are the generals so bad? And where will the good ones come from? Said the Russian ultra-patriot. He also mocked Russian dictator Vladimir Putin and his threats against the West. What red lines are you talking about? We'll do this and that. We'll blow everyone away. Is there a blow-up? There's nothing worse than a strong gesture by a weak person, Kurginyan said. Earlier, an eloquent post about Putin was published on August the 16th by the angry patriot Vladimir Kvachkov, a close associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov. Kvachkov reminded Putin of his video address on February the 24th, 2022. The president announcing the start of the so-called special operation against Ukraine made a very threatening statement to the West. Whoever tries to stop us should know that Russia's response will be immediate, and it will lead to consequences that you have never encountered in your history," Putin said. Now, the Kremlin propaganda prefers not to remember those threats that were never realized. Kvachkov called the threats of the Russian dictator show-off. He complained about the weakness of the Russian authorities, Putin showing off somewhere between the red and brown lines. After the invasion by the Ukrainian armed forces of the Kursk region, it's time to make sure that words coincide with deeds. But no, provoking the enemy with weakness continues. 
wrote the Russian Z Patriot. <laughs>